So, guys, I mean, I knew Wes Anderson. I'd seen his movies. In it, but did, did you know him before you got involved in this? Um, I, before I had gotten involved in Moonrise, I had seen Fantastic Mr. Fox, and I loved it. And I'd heard of his other movies. I just never had a chance to see them. I had seen Fantastic Mr. Fox, The Darjeeling Limited, and The Royal Ten Bums, and I loved each movie. So when I heard that I was going to work with the director who made those movies, it was just a very exciting feeling. All right, so let's talk about who you're playing then. Ladies first. I play Susie Bishop, and she is a very misunderstood young woman who lives with her family, which includes three younger brothers who she doesn't get along with particularly well. And her, um, her parents are having their own problems. Her mother's having an affair, and her dad's just, you know, he's, he's very sad. And so she really, she runs away with Sam because she feels like that he understands her and what she's going through, and he does. And so who's Sam, and how does he fit in? Um, Sam is a uh, member of the Khaki Scouts of America. He's an orphan. Um, and he's a very, very misunderstood kid. He's, he's great. He's, he's a great kid, but he's unfortunately very misunderstood. Um, he happens to be unlike everyone else um, in a good way. Uh, and um, through a series of, of events, um, he ends up meeting uh, this girl, Susie Bishop, and really identifies with um, her, and she identifies with him. And uh, then they start writing to each other, and through those letters, they come up with the plan to run away together. That's big. Now these are these are big roles, adults, kids, whoever. You're you're in a lot lot of the movie. How did how did you go about preparing? And did, did Wes give you homework? Um, the month before filming, um, he had us go to Rhode Island, and we would um, do rehearsals. Kara and I would do rehearsals to kind of like test our chemi chemistry and kind of prepare for these scenes when we actually film them. Um, I uh, I also had to do canoeing lessons. Um, I had to cook up. I had cooking over an open fire lessons, uh, and I had to learn how to flip a fish. Um, and then I also did some physical training and other things. Um, he had me watch uh, the movie uh, um, Escape from Alcatraz. Um, and then he, he, he had me watch a movie called Melody, which is a lovely story. And then he also he invited us, us to a yeah. showing of a movie called Blackjack, which was also, it was very, in, it inspired us and it showed us just how you know, to make our scenes really, really, you know, extra special, just like the scenes in these movies. And also, I had to learn how to write left-handed for my character, which was an interesting experience. Very method, and can you still do it? Yeah, sort of, sort of, uh, I, can, I, can, I can try. If the acting doesn't work out, there's a life of forgery you, know, <laughs> you can be doing. A lot of big names in this, with a mm. lot of actors we've, we've seen before, Encouraging, intimidating. How did that work out? They were so kind. Yeah, they, they, they are were such great. a great cast of kind and very talented people. Kind of asked for so, better. Yes, they they were very amazing, and we learned quite a bit from them. And you you had Bruce Willis sort of mentoring you on screen. How was that off screen? Um, he was great off screen. Um, in a way, I kind of learned that it's a really good idea. He kind of taught me this. Um. That's a really great idea to really run lines um, with uh, whoever you're doing the scene with before you actually do the scene with that person because uh, it's great for like mem uh, memorization and just preparation, knowing how to act and react um, with that other, the other person. Uh, and like uh, for example, also um, Bill Murray um, uh, gave uh, gave Karen and I uh, the tip that we should um, really uh, like hum in the mornings before we actually went to um, set to warm up our voices and um, that really worked and we did that like, throughout the entire film and, um, and yeah. And you've got your Bill is your dad and Francis yes. is your mom? Oh they are such kind, kind people. They are so down to earth and sweet. I mean Bill Murray is one of the funniest people you will ever meet. He's like that off screen as well. He's yeah always very happy. He's just this ray of sunshine that simply cannot be stopped. And Frances McDormand is just, she's so sweet and down to earth and, you know, caring. And everyone loves them both. And finally, talking of rays of sunshine, here, here we are in Cannes. What's the experience been like so far? It's been absolutely extraordinary to be here. It's, it's such an honor and a blessing to be among such a great group of talented artists. It's too great for words. Um, 
I guess I can say it's it's surreal, really. I mean, I just feel so so honored. I mean, not a lot of like it's it's rare to, um, for uh, an actor to have his movie um, be the opening film, let alone it's his first. So it, I just feel amazingly honored, amazingly honored, uh, and also just to be around all these great, great um, actors, directors, and just everyone. Just, oh, yeah. Awesome guys, enjoy the ride. Thank you Thank so you. much. It was great Thank to you. meet you. That's me. And you.